WHO is devoting this year's World Health Day to diabetes, a disease that deserves more attention for many reasons. The prevalence of diabetes are alarming and rapidly getting worse. This is a worrying worldwide trend. WHO estimates that diabetes prevalence has doubled since 1980. The impact of this chronic metabolic disease on individuals, families, communities, health systems and health budgets is staggering. Diabetes debilitates. The disease is an important cause of blindness, kidney failure, lower limb amputation and other long-term consequences that greatly diminish the quality of life for millions. WHO estimates that 422 million adults had diabetes in 2014. Of these, around 1.5 million die each year. In the past decade, growth in the prevalence of diabetes has been fastest in low- and middle-income countries, where the cost of care can easily drive families below the poverty line. Today, we are launching the first WHO Global Report on Diabetes. While the scale of diabetes problem is immense, multiple opportunities can be used to reverse these alarming trends. A large proportion of diabetes cases can be prevented. Being overweight or obese is the strongest risk factor. In fact, the diabetes crisis provides one of the most compelling incentives for preventing excess body weight through diet and exercise. The starting point for living well with diabetes is early diagnosis. Diabetes can be treated and the disease can be controlled with both lifestyle changes and essential medicines, including agents that lower blood pressure and lipid levels. Far too often, essential medicines and the technologies for diabetes diagnosis and control are simply not available in poorer communities and countries. In particular, lack of access to affordable insulin results in needless complications and premature deaths. This is totally unacceptable. Improving access to essential diabetes medicines and technologies is a top priority for WHO. Thank you.